Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here with another Halo 5 gameplay. This will not be a tips and tricks video, it's actually a pretty short gameplay coming in at 5 minutes and 25 seconds that I really wanted to share with you guys because it is a rather uh, standout, unique game. You don't get very many of these. Um, I was playing the Big Team Battle map Boulevards and we were playing Stronghold on this particular map and I did very well. Um, I got 22 kills, 0 deaths, but most impressive of all, 93.7% accuracy. So I'm just going to be going through and commentating over the gameplay live as it happens. This is not a theater mode film, so all the shots you see are going to be accurate and on point. And I'll try to give you guys some idea of how I got this. Now, of course, one rocket to one Warthog getting a triple kill is gonna be 100% accuracy so far to start off this game. Unfortunately, I do think I killed my teammate there with that one rocket. I'm not sure why he was contesting that uh, center area, but those kind of things do happen. Um, I have the rockets and shotgun here, and so I'm just gonna be trying to hold this center area as my teammates capture Red Bend. I see this guy kind of rushing, but I see this other teammate behind him. I'm gonna clean him up first. So before I challenge this guy in taxi, I'm going to grab a BR first, and then kind of rashly poke out. Didn't really look that I needed to reload. Then I'm going to go ahead and trade my battle rifle for a DMR. And the DMR is very, very useful. I'd say the classic Halo 2 battle rifle, carbine, and DMR uh, are all very, very uh, useful in big team battle, way more than people would think. For some reason, uh, People, because they start with the default Halo 5 battle rifle in the team battle, they feel like they don't need to pick up the Carbine or the DMR uh, or the Halo 2 Classic battle rifle. The Halo 2 Classic battle rifle, by the way, does not appear on this specific map. Um, this is also a really good place and position I'm holding. Um, I'm just trying to uh, hold the top tower above Taxi. As you can see, players are spawning. Uh, near me on the top of this ramp, this big, big ramp, uh, just above Taxi. I'm being naded across the map here as they nade the window. An again, another nade comes through. Um, so that I see this guy from the distance. I'm just going to try to put shots on him and not die. Uh, I do only have one bullet remaining in the uh, reserve for my DMR, and I do notice that. I get the killing frenzy, waiting for my teammates to grab the rocket launcher, but they're my teammates are wisely baiting the rocket launcher, uh, letting all the enemy players think that they can get the rocket launcher. Now there's a great use of the DMR, waiting for that fifth shot to get the perfect kill. Um, just to reiterate, I am staying around Taxi. We do have total control with all three zones. A lockdown at this point, our hog is roaming around as you can see here. Uh, my teammate did call out that that guy was behind me, so uh, that's just another uh, there's going to be multiple examples throughout this gameplay of um, how my teammates saved my life or helped me get this gameplay. Um, obviously, it's a gameplay for them too, but for me, it was pretty special because I got the 93.7% accuracy with zero deaths and 22 kills. I actually go on a rampage uh, this game. That was a cluster luck double kill across the map as the kill feed just keeps on going here. Um, I see that Taxi is being captured. I am, am constantly aware of that. Uh, I just, again, wait for that fifth shot. I did miss a few shots there. I could, probably could have had even higher accuracy if I hadn't missed some of those shots. But we're already two-thirds of the way through this game. Pretty short gameplay overall. And my teammates are great with roaming around the map here. Um, I do pick up the kill on that guy. Just rotating to the zones that I see being captured and I'm trying to provide across map as much support as I can with this DMR. I don't need to necessarily fly to those zones. That's a mistake a lot of players make in strongholds. It's thinking they have to do it all. Um, you can do a lot for your team simply by locking down an area of the map so that your teammates can get safe spawns, which is basically what I'm doing here for the most part and holding this above, area above taxi, giving overwatch above the rocket spawns, controlling DMR, controlling the shotgun. Those are all very useful uh, things to do on this map, Boulevards. But this gameplay is gonna come to a its quick and decisive conclusion. We'll go over the stats screen um, just, to let, just to show you guys that I'm not um, making up these stats about the accuracy or anything like that. But first, we gotta end this game with uh, six points remaining.
I am testing out my new Blue Yeti microphone, so I apologize if there's anything uh, different on that end. You'll probably be able to uh, hear things like my keyboard a little bit more and stuff like that. But there's the end of that pretty decisive game. Um, they did have seven players with only, I believe, one of the enemy players leaving at any given point. So that, again, that's pretty impressive. So going over my stats here, I kind of paused the gameplay to get 22 kills, 10 assists, 0 deaths. But going over uh, to actually to my accuracy, you can see that I did get 93.7 accuracy with 11 power weapon kills. Now the damage dealt that is bugged. It is not uh, correct there. I don't know why it says 605 damage. It's been bugged for a while. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that quick uh, live gameplay. I do want to do more tips and tricks gameplays in the future, but realize that Halo 5's theater mode is incredibly broken. What you just saw, again, was live, raw, captured, 1080p, 60 frames per second, straight from my Elgato live, as I saw it when I was playing the game live on my screen. That's why all the shots were registering and there weren't any bugs or hiccups throughout that gameplay. So, hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.